For the last 17 years, I have preached more than 800 times at St. Stanislaus. While I have always striven to be fresh and original, there is no hiding that from time to time some themes have reappeared in my homilies or sermons over and over again. One of my homiletics or preaching professors from the seminary days told us that through all the years of our priesthood, we basically deliver the same sermon, one message that we dress up differently from Sunday to Sunday. And so there are priests and ministers whose sermons are always about brimstone and fire. There are those who, no matter how hard they try, always end up being rather political in their weekly messages. Others have preached for decades, trying to teach their parishioners to deepen their relationship with God through prayer. Of course, there are many others who just can't preach well, and we usually forget their homilies or sermons two minutes later. Today, if I am to be honest, I have to admit that in my 20 years of preaching, I too have been delivering pretty much the same message. If you have given me the honor of listening to me, you can probably name the main theme woven through all my sermons. God's love that is calling us to justice. God's love and our justice. You and I have talked about our need to witness God's love by living justly and treating all people with justice. For the longest time, we have talked about justice in the context of our own struggle for survival as a parish abandoned by its own bishop. Then, we talked about justice for women, for the LGBTQ community, for our black and brown neighbors, for the immigrants and refugees, for married priests, for divorced and remarried individuals, and so on. I have preached about sacramental justice and social justice, about doing what is right in terms of our church, our neighborhood, and even our planet. Well, you can be surprised then that this almost last sermon of mine given at St. Stanislaus, is about justice as well. The very first sentence of today's first reading, taken from the book of Sirach, reminds us that the Lord is a God of justice, who hears the cry of the poor. It bears repeating, then, that if we remain deaf to the cry of the orphans and widows, to the wailing of asylum seekers, if we pretend 
to not hear the pain of our wounded planet and that of the black and brown lives that still seem to matter less. If we turn our face away from the cries of the least of the sisters and brothers of Christ, then we have failed to be God's people. For our God is the God of justice. If Christianity is not about justice, it is not about God. There are too many holier-than-thou so-called Christians who pray in the marbled churches and in front of the cameras with bejeweled crosses on their chest saying to God, to themselves, and to others, Thank God I am not like those people. Thank God I am not like those transgender people. Thank God I am not like those people trying to cross our southern border. Thank God I am not like those women driving to a Planned Parenthood clinic across the river. Thank God I am not like those who voted for Trump. Oh, thank God I am not like those people who live in the drug-infested neighborhood. Thank God I am not like those sinners. In the Gospel passage today, Jesus tells us that they will not be justified. Apparently, they do not believe they need God's grace, for they are holier than everyone else. God does love them, but they need not God's love nor grace, for they are already in the good place. Instead, Jesus says, God's love will justify those who humble themselves who recognize their shortcomings and failures and put their trust in God, not in themselves. To humble ourselves is to recognize that we too are one of those people. To humble ourselves is to, as the Bible says in the book of Micah, do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with our God. Amen. I would like to take a moment and thank you for listening and watching to my weekly reflections. If you have not subscribed yet, please consider clicking on the subscription button. Thank you for your continuous support and friendship.